there's no denying it. Snakes are scary, and some are scarier than most, including King Cobras. Brace yourself, we are about to introduce you to some of the scariest snakes in the world. One that makes even other snakes run away in fear. These are 15 scariest snakes that actually exist. Number 15. King Cobra What other place could we begin? The King Cobra has to be the villain. Size, strength, and physical force define the King Cobra. There's a reason that many powerful old-school muscle cars are named after snakes, and the Cobra is no exception. These are the world's longest and most powerful venomous snakes and they reside in Southeast Asia. They can hold the top one-third of their body upright and stare a grown man in the eyes. And they are known for the hood around their heads that fans out when they want to give a warning. Furthermore, instead of hissing, these vicious creatures bark like a dog. Isn't that kind of terrifying? While the cobra may not have the most deadly venom of any snake, it is all about delivery. An envenoming bite will infuse you with neurotoxic chemicals, making this a very dangerous reptile. One bite can contain 15 fluid ounces, which is more than enough to kill 20 men instantly. These 18-foot beasts are capable of killing an elephant. Will any snake be able to match this level of badassery? Maybe, but the point is that one snake who can give a King Cobra a bad day is another King Cobra. This is the main reason why the King Cobra hates other snakes. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Spider-Tailed Viper You claim there's a snake and a spider merged together. That seems like the ultimate nightmare monster, but it doesn't only belong in the realm of dreams. Instead, it belongs in this world, right here, in western Iran, where it was identified in 2006. The most distinguishing characteristic of this snake is, of course, its bulbous tail, which is coated in long, drooping scales that give it a spider-like appearance. This spidery tail is then utilized to entice animals into believing they've discovered a nice spidery snack. The curious and hungry critter, however, usually comes a tasty treat for the spider-tailed viper in a sneaky play. It's most effective on birds, which is what this deadly snake likes to eat. The first specimen was obtained in 1968, however it was mistaken for another species until years later, when it was recognized as a separate species. It has now gained notoriety after being featured in one of David Attenborough's BBC Nature programs, and it now has a permanent home at Iran's Natural History Museum as a preserved specimen. Number 13. Golden Lancehead Snake Island, also known as Ilha de Queimada Grande, is an Atlantic Ocean island off the coast of Brazil. The island has a mild climate and is just 106 acres in size. The island's terrain is varied, ranging from bare rock to rainforest. The world's only home for the critically endangered Golden Lancehead Pit Viper, which feeds on birds, lies on this island. The snakes were stuck when surging water levels flooded the causeway that connected the island to the mainland. The snakes were able to adapt to their new home as a consequence of selection pressure, rapidly increasing in number and making the island dangerous to visit. Only the Brazilian Navy and selected researchers have access to Queimada Grande, which is off-limits to the general public in order to safeguard both people and the snake population. The island's snake population was formerly thought to be over 430,000, but recent research suggests the figure is way lower. In the first thorough research, the population of the Golden Lancehead was estimated to be between 2,000 and 4,000 individuals, with the population concentrated almost entirely in the island's rainforest. Due to low total population, the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species has classified the Golden Lancehead as extremely endangered. It was also included to Brazil's list of endangered species. 
Number 12. Common Crate The Indian subcontinent is home to the common crate, a highly venomous snake. These snakes may be found virtually anywhere in peninsular India, but not on the islands off the coast. Other adjacent nations where they can be found include Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. These snakes are most commonly seen around water sources. However, they are also prevalent in and near population regions and urban towns, and have been known to invade human homes at night. This is one of the reasons why this Big Four member is responsible for the majority of human and snake attacks in India. The common crate is a nocturnal species that is only active from late at night to early in the morning. They are typically placid, timid, and non-aggressive snakes during the day, but at night they become highly active, alert, and confrontational. If it is disturbed, it will typically flatten and coil its body in an attempt to hide its head in the center. It moves jerkily and occasionally lifts its tail. When a common crate creates its ball, which generally happens during the day, it might put up with some handling. But if it is handled too much, it will bite. At night, though, they hiss louder and bite more readily. Watch out for this deadly reptile. Number 11. Cuban Boa One of the biggest boa species is the Cuban Boa. They have weak eyesight and rely on their tongues to sniff the air instead. The flicking tongue takes up minute fragrance particles in the air, which are carried to the Jacobson organ, which is located on the roof of the mouth, and there the smells are decoded. As carnivores, Cuban boas consume small animals like rats. They do not use their teeth to inflict lethal wounds on their victims. Instead, they utilize them to grab the prey and wrap their bodies around it two or three times before squeezing squeezing it. Each time the prey exhales, the boa tightens its grip, immobilizing the ribs, diaphragm, lungs, and heart. Their victim finally succumbs to suffocation. The endangered Cuban boa may be found in tropical dry forest and shrub woodland on the island of Cuba. It is the island of Cuba's biggest snake, and it may be found in holes, rock heaps, and cultivated areas. Because it lives on an island, the Cuban boa is vulnerable to disturbances like a fire, poaching, and storms, which could swiftly push the species to extinction. Boas of up to 2 meters in length regularly infiltrate metropolitan areas on the island of Cuba. Local believe that boas kill chickens and other fowl, therefore they attack and kill the snakes. Number 10. Dubois Sea Snake The Dubois Sea Snake, sometimes known as the Reef Shallow Sea Snake, is a venomous sea snake. Its geographic range encompasses Papua New Guinea, New Caledonia, and the Coral Sea, Arafura Sea, Timor Sea, and Indian Ocean, as well as the northern, eastern, and western coasts of Australia. These snakes prey on moray eels and other seafloor dwelling species. They are somewhat aggressive, meaning that they will bite if provoked, but not on their own. It is the world's most venomous sea snake, as well as one of the top three most venomous snakes. They dwell on coral reef flats, sandy and silty substrates with seaweed, invertebrates, corals, and sponges can provide refuge at depths of up to 262 feet. The venom output is 0.43 milligrams, and the fangs are 1.8 millimeters long, which is small for a snake. But that's not gonna help ya if you are envenomated by this ridiculously toxic snake. This snake is more toxic than Britney Spears' dad. That said, if you're swimming in the day, you should be okay. This snake is a crepuscular species, which means it is most active between the dawn and dusk hours. Number 9. Black Mamba after the king cobra, the black mamba is the second longest venomous snake. When the black mamba is threatened, it opens its inky black mouth, extends its thin neck flap, and hisses. It can strike from a long distance and can deliver a number of bites in quick succession. Because of its size, aggressiveness, venom toxicity, and rapid onset of symptoms after envenomation, the black mamba is Africa's most feared snake. This snake can move at speeds of up to 12 miles per hour, which is quite astounding for a creature with no legs. It's also an awesome tree climber, growing to up to 14 feet tall. 
Oh, and if it does manage to get you, well, uh, that's going to be a bad day. Seriously, this thing is insanely powerful. Basically, you don't want to get into problems with a black mamba, and it's no surprise that it's Africa's most feared snake, with 20,000 snake bite deaths each year. If you venture too close to a black mamba, you can expect the bite to result in a loss of consciousness and death in less than 45 minutes. Number 8. The Small Scaled Burrowing Asp The small scaled burrowing asp is a reptile belonging to the Atractaspidid snake family. Burrowing asps are found throughout tropical and southern Africa, as well as the Middle East, and there are 19 different species. Savannas, grassy plains, desert like environments, and bushy regions are where they may be found. Because it resembles a viper that lives in underground tunnels, the small scaled burrowing asp is also known as mole viper. In the wild, the population of small scaled burrowing asps is robust and healthy. These snakes are not on any endangered species list. Because they have only been spotted and examined a few times in their native habitat, the majority of study on Atractaspis microlepidota is focused on their venom. The venom is viscid and appears slightly milky. It's fascinating how they use their long hollow fangs, and the length of these fangs help them to inject venom deeper into their victim. These fangs are comparable to those of Viperidae, yet they are also distinct. They don't have to open their jaws to utilize their fangs, instead they usually just use one fang, which is still a mystery. Best not to find out the hard way for yourself by being bitten by one of these toxic snakes. Number 7. Inland Taipan the Inland Taipan, the world's most dangerous snake, has a name of its own. This snake is much more venomous than any other snake, making it the most deadly reptile on the planet. In the average output, one bite from this animal has enough venom to kill a hundred adult men. The neurotoxins are a unique formation that targets warm-blooded animal systems. That's you and me, guys. This snake is thought to have one of the greatest targeting systems in the world, since it nearly never misses a bite and will generally attack many times, delivering deadly strike after strike after strike. Just in case you were wondering who's in charge here, why is it not as well known as some of the other snakes on this list? And more to the point, why aren't inland taipans in charge of the universe? They just don't have the right personality. They don't need to brag about themselves, preferring to lurk in isolated areas of Australia, away from humans. As far as we know, just five individuals have been bitten by this snake. That has to be a relief for all of us. Let's keep it that way. Number 6. Flying Snakes because snakes don't have any legs, you should be fine as long as you keep off the ground at all times, right? No, no, and no. Because as we've seen, they're amazing climbers and swimmers. What's more, do you know what else they can do? They have the ability to fly! Yep, that's correct. Chrysopelia is a genus of five species of flying snake that reside in Southeast Asian jungles. They glide, not fly to be exact. However, it is still a snake moving in the air, which is crazy. They bend their bodies and then fling themselves to the next tree, grasping branches along the way, which is bad news for their victim. We're not talking about little jumps here. They can glide up to 300 feet in a single bound. Snakes that fly. I mean, isn't that how they boarded that plane? Remember? Samuel L. Jackson was there, and while it was a little cheesy, everyone enjoyed it, right? A classic movie. Well, it's possible that these snakes hold the key to flight without wings. The scientists are researching them for just that reason. In 2050, we could cross the Atlantic in a gigantic snake jet that slithers through the sky like a maniac. How about that? Number 5. Spitting Cobra You may already be familiar with the Spitting Cobra, but research has revealed that it is far more terrifying than we previously thought. Mostly because they know precisely what they're doing and where their spit burns the most. According to National Geographic, doctoral student Katja Chach of Germany's University of Bonn revealed in 2005 that the red Mozambique and black-necked spitting cobras may spit venom at you from as far as six feet away. Worse, 
if their spit goes in your eyes, it can do serious harm. The venom damages the tissue in the cornea of the eye, and if not treated promptly, the burns might result in blindness. Rather than spitting at random, these cobras have been discovered to be deliberately aiming for the eyeballs. They know where the target's weak areas are and they'll take advantage of them. Furthermore, their aim is terrifyingly accurate. Chach put the red Mozambique and black-necked spitting cobras to the test by having them spit in her face. She wore a plastic helmet because she's not totally nuts. What were the outcomes? Both snakes aim for the eyeballs, with the black-necked cobras hitting them 80% of the time and the red Mozambique cobras hitting them 100% of the time. If you see this monster out in the wild, cover your eyes and run, and hope you don't fall into a ditch full of them. Number 4. Eastern Brown Snake Even amid the broad spectrum of badass snakes endemic to Australia, there is one really deadly snake that stands out. That's right, Australia isn't just home to kangaroos and kookaburras, it's also home to some very bizarre snakes. The eastern brown snake is thought to be the world's second most venomous land snake. In Australia, this species is responsible for 60% of snake bite deaths. This extremely potent venom targets the circulatory system, causing massive blood thinning, which leads to hemorrhaging and heart failure. The European mouse was introduced to the continent by Europeans many years ago, and it turns out that these mice are now the brown snake's favorite meal, and mice like to live in close proximity to people. That implies that the snake now enjoys hanging out near humans as well. <laughs> and the odds of being bitten are increasing all the time. Except for dense forests, the eastern brown snake may be found in most environments. Because of the growing numbers of its major prey, the invasive house mouse, it has grown more widespread in farms and on the edges of cities, profiting from agriculture. Also, if you want to sprint away from it, you should really be Usain Bolt levels of fast, as this snake is one of the quickest on the planet and can outrun most humans. Number 3. Coral Snake This snake is a badass outlaw, as is the tradition in its home state of Texas. You see, this snake doesn't fit in with the rest of the world's snakes. It hides under leaf heaps, burrows, and around logs on its own. Why is it such a loner? Because it preys on other snakes. It's okay to eat mice, bats, lizards, humans, crocodiles, and all kinds of stuff, but what about snakes eating each other? That's just taking things too far. Certain snake species, in an attempt to look like this renegade bad boy cannibal, have developed vivid color patterns to fool prospective predators into thinking they too are a deadly and venomous Texas coral snake through a process known as Batesian mimicry. However, because the patterns aren't always identical, local people have developed a reminder which goes, red and yellow kill a fellow, so if the red and yellow rings aren't separated by a black ring, then you have the real deal coral snake in front of you. If there's a black ring separating the red and yellow, then it's just a non-venomous imitator. Number 2. Boom Slang the Afrikaans word, boomslang, means tree snake. The term boomslang comes from the snake's habit of hiding among trees and bushes. This snake's Afrikaans name has also been adopted as its official English name. A boomslang is a long, thin snake with big eyes and a broad, blunt head that protrudes from the neck. The snake may reach a length of up to 2 meters, although most are between 1 and 1.6 meters long. The snake's big eyes are a distinguishing feature of the species. Males come in a range of colors, ranging from plain brilliant green to rust red or a black and yellow mix. Females are olive brown to gray in color, with vivid green eyes, a white neck, and cryptic twig-colored bodies. Juveniles are extremely striking. The snake's diverse body coloration allows them to follow food while remaining undetected by using the shelter of trees and bushes. When the snake detects food, it will freeze, shift its head from side to side, and then attack the prey quick. The snake imitates plant branches that are blown from side to side by wind by freezing and moving the head from side to side, lulling prospective prey into ignoring the snake. 
Because of its large eyes, the boomslang can hunt during the day. When irritated or threatened, the boomslang inflates its neck to double its normal size, revealing the brilliant flesh under the scales. If the threat remains, the snake will strike without hesitation. The snake has back fangs that inject venom into the victim. The snake's lethal bite is employed to kill prey and defend itself from predators. The venom of the boomslang is hemotoxic, meaning it interferes with the victim's ability to coagulate blood resulting in internal and external bleeding. Number 1. Saw-Scaled Viper Echis carinatus carinatus is the subspecies of saw-scaled vipers found in South India, and they reach a maximum length of around 14 inches. The ones found in Rajasthan are called Soshuric saw-scaled vipers, and they can grow to be twice as long. Aside from the size difference, the saw-scaled vipers of Soshuric have a distinct pattern from their southern counterparts. The name comes from the rows of heavily kneeled scales down their sides, which are directed upward rather than backward, as is the case with other snakes. When threatened, the saw-scaled viper coils its body into a tight S form and rubs its scales together, making a raspy sound similar to that of a small saw. Seeing these little snakes make such a powerful sound with their scales is absolutely amazing. Stridulation is the process through which animals rub their body parts together to create noises. They are particularly deadly because of their mysterious lifestyle and proclivity to hide rather than run. Vipers with saw-scaled scales can be found hiding under a single leaf or in the tiniest of ground cover. People who are going barefoot are most likely to trip on one and be bitten. If you were a king cobra, would you fear any of these animals? Have you ever seen one of the deadly snakes on our list? Let us know in the comments below. Also check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!